the 12 lead ECG, placing the chest leads. To place the chest leads, we begin by palpating the sternum for the angle of Louis. This is the landmark for the second rib. From this position, you can palpate the first intercostal space, the second intercostal space, the third, and then the fourth intercostal space. Remember that V1 is on the fourth intercostal space to the right of the sternum. V2 is also on the fourth intercostal space to the left of the sternum. Before attaching V3, let's attach V4 first. V4 is on the fifth intercostal space at the left midclavicular line. Attach V3 now directly between V2 and V4. V5 is at the level with V4 at the left anterior axillary line. V6 is on the mid axillary line. Here is another view of the chest leads and their landmarks. Advise your patient of the need to perform a 12-lead ECG. Ask permission as required. Before you start an ECG, it is good practice to attach the electrodes to the cables first before attaching them to the patient to prevent discomfort. Also organize your cables before attachment. Attach the limb leads on the appropriate extremity, being careful to remove any personal items on the patient's wrists and ankles to ensure proper placement. Clean the site prior to electrode placement. From your previous learning, palpate for the correct anatomical landmarks. For V4, V5, and V6, please refer to the following chart for the correct anatomical landmarks. When you turn on the LifePak 15, it will show you the patient's ECG on the monitor. Press the 12 lead button and enter the patient's information. Enter the patient's age and sex. The 12 lead is now being acquired. The ECG will now be printed and automatically sent to the NCC by telemetry. The monitor will display transmission progress. Please wait for transmission to reach 99%. Successful transmission will be printed on the ECG strip. Your transmission is now complete.